I thought it was going to be a technical thing. I thought I was going to learn to do this very well technically, and that was what I was trying to do. Um, I didn't realise the depth of it. I didn't realise the emotional resonance that this process would have for people. Um, just how intensely they would respond to it. And I wasn't prepared for the stories that I would be shared. Um, very involuntarily, I would be shared stories from people about their lives, about deaths, about love. It opened up, it opened up things that I never imagined it would. Um, and the beauty of this process of working with living things and creating images that are alive, they smell, um, and eventually they're going to fade. And I wanted to explore that, I wanted to explore what it was like as an artist to produce work that wouldn't last, that had an impermanence. And so I started the journey. And feeling part of the cycle of life, the cycle of nature, has become very important to me. Working with the seasons has become, working, has become important to me. Working with the sunlight. Um, I don't mind if it takes six months to make an anthotype. Um, that doesn't bother me. I like to work with nature. If the sun only gives me three days sunlight, that's fine. So first you select some flowers that have a good deep colour. Then you have to remove the petals or the leaves, whichever you're going to work with. Cut them up finely and macerate them, the mortar and pestle, adding a few drops of vodka or water. You then macerate that and you make a paste, a bit like pesto, which you then strain. You coat paper, several coats on the paper so that it's a nice deep colour. And then you leave it to dry. Then you put the paper into a contact frame with a transparency. You put it outside and you wait. Central to my practice is colour collecting, colour mapping. It's site specific. Uh, everything that grows in a, sp in a place gives you a certain kind of colours, but the same flowers or the same fruit or vegetables in another place with different soil different rain, different water, could give you completely different colours. And so this collection, this archiving of colours from places has become very central to my practice. It's as important as the finished image. And I have an accumulation of books of colour, colour swatches that describe a place very specifically. I've got folders and folders of paper covered, co coated with colour from different places. And they take a long time to make, so I'm qu always quite nervous about making an anthotype with it in case it goes wrong and it doesn't work. And they're very precious to me, and often they'll stay in the folders for years until I find the right image that I think will work with that colour, with that piece of paper. Um, but I can't really tell you how I make the selection, it's very instinctive. Every face tells a story. Every photograph of a face tells a story. Um, we, we always apply a narrative. So the envelopes are about opening that envelope and discovering this face and applying our own narrative and our own memories that then become part of our narrative. I'm interested in exploring the ephemerality of these images and my relationship with that ephemerality. It's not easy. I'm not saying that's an easy path to take. For me, their ephemerality is their beauty. It's a very spiritual thing.